Hello folks, my name is Antoine with OTAAntenna.com and today we're going to be doing an installation setup of the Mediasonic Homeworks Digital Converter Box. There's your product number right there. Alright, let's get this bad boy open. In the box, you have your converter box itself. You have your power button, your channel up and down button. And the only reason you will need these buttons is if you was to lose your remote. And let's turn it around, see how the back looks. See on the back we have, so for those who have the older style television or if you have a TV where your HDMI or your RCA outputs are broken, you can use your coaxial output. So the RFN is going to be for your HD antenna, whether you have it on the roof or an outdoor antenna or you have an indoor antenna, you can connect it right there. And then right here you have your RF out, which is your, going to be your coaxial cord to the back of your television. And then right here you can set whether you want to have your television on channel 3 or channel 4. Most people leave it on channel 3. If you're from the old days, you remember this from VCRs and video games, they had them. Then right here, you have your USB input. That's going to be for your external hard drive. You got the HD and your RCA. Yellow is for video. Red and white is for audio. Now it does come with RCA cables. I believe these are three feet. You have your user's manual. As you can see, we haven't opened it yet. Probably never going to open it. We're probably going to do a uh, giveaway for this box. Once we get the channel up and running and get more products in, probably going to do a free giveaway for this box. Paid shipping and everything. Alright. Alright, and here's our remote. As you can see, there's a lot of buttons on here, and there's a lot of things you can do with just this one digital converter box. Um, there you have your power button that's going to power your converter box off and on, and you have a volume, a mute feature. You can mute your television from your converter box. Now, this isn't a universal remote. But the converter box has a volume feature in it that allows you to control the volume within the converter box. You have your info button, your favorite, you can set up your favorite channels, your menu, your timer, your record, your closed caption, your recall, your exit. Pretty much the basic buttons you'll see on a standard television remote. And if we scroll down to the bottom or to the middle section, you have your, let's see if we can focus it in. All right, there you go. Over here, we have our exit button. If you're in any menu, press the exit button. You have your volume controls right here. Channel up and down, your exit, I mean, your, I'm sorry, your OK button. Scroll down, your TV list. Um, that could be a button you can lose, use a lot. I'll show you guys about that. Your EPG, which stands for Electronic Program Guide. Your numerical pad. Your USB device for whenever you connect your external hard drive. And that is needed for recording and using the media player functions. Let's go down. You have your go-to and then your your basic DVR or DVD type, uh, VCR type keypads, repeats, HDMI, I'm not sure about that function, you got your hold and you got your audio.
when it's your first time plugging it in, it's going to come to this menu. You're going to go ahead and select your language, and your country, and then go ahead and run the channel search. So this channel scan should take up to three minutes. But as you can see, as it's scanning, the name of the networks is popping up. And then after it finishes scan, you know, the TV is just going to come on. While it's searching for channels, let's go ahead and look at the remote control. At the top left, we have the power button. You will use that to turn only your converter box on and off. This remote is not a universal remote. There's your mute button then there's your info button you can press that whenever you want to know information about the channel you're watching recall menu then exit this section right here you're going to use to navigate through menus also for your volume up and down and your channel up and down well that is it the scan is almost complete and if you've been following along, we are literally seconds away from live, free HD programming with recording capabilities. And if any of you guys out there want to know or want to see tutorials detailing the recording capabilities and what it takes to set that up, let us know in the comment section below. Other than that, you can contact us at OT Antenna on Facebook and Instagram or you can contact us through our website at otantenna.com. Take care and I'll see you guys next time.